Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is AFK Dave, and I would like to reintroduce everyone to the Secret Monster Society. I'm just setting up my timer. There we go. So, yeah. In the last episode, I was trying to find a way to open a secret passageway, but I couldn't, I couldn't find anything, so... I'm just going to have to leave, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm zoomed out. No, there's nothing. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Essentially, this game is like really, really small. So, a note. <gasps> a note. Uh, Chef Landland, please refrain from agitating our visitors. It's not good for business. Whoever the fuck you are. Right, okay. Um, a poster. Aquatic Tales. It's a poster for a show called Aquatic Tales. I've not heard of this. Maybe it's a new production. Cool. Maybe I can go into the past and find out what it is. Right, so far I don't see anything else. So, let's go into the kitchen. I want to sit hello. You there. Oh. Yeah. Yes, you. Please. What? Yes, you me. I have I lost my your cookbook and cool have very cool. important meals to make. My reputation counts on it. Really? If you see it, bring it back to me. As this In return, you do, I you. shall make you one of my special dishes. A special cookbook. I'm sure it has to be around here somewhere. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can pick anything like this up. Ah. Ew. Don't know why I need a bit of meat. Cooking pot. Nothing too special about this. It's just really? Chef Landland's cooking pot. Really? Can I? I should think this through. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would have worked, but no. Thing is, though, I need to test things out. So, I do not see a cookbook in here. So, it... well, you're a chef, though. That makes no sense. He's a chef, which means he already has all of his recipes in his mind, some somewhat. I mean, come on. I mean, that's at all. Well, I should be here. Minus that's one. Strange. Nothing seems to happen. Really. Oh yeah, I am on zero, so... Huh. There's a basement. Apparently there is a basement. Interesting. Bing! Uh, hello. What is this? This small sign looks pretty new. It reads, The Seed of Imagination. This sapling root is the foundation of all dreams and inspiration. Each year, a leaf is removed to harness its power, which is then cast upon the human world. Really? You think something as important as this would be kept from harm's way. Anything could happen to it here. Really? What happens if I... What happens if I put some meat on it? <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, shite. Well, no, no. Looks like I'm going into the place with the submarine sign. Uh, hello, Albert. Small metal bucket spooner, <laughs> Albert. Uh, looks like he's all wrapped up in his work. <laughs> Funny. Hello there. How's the cleaning business? Man. <laughs> My name is Blythe Dalrich. What's yours? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. So you're the caretaker here? Yeah. You look like you <sighs> mom. That one looks really old. <sighs> I'm native to his By language. Finding you one, I'll make sure you get it. <sighs> well, I best Seriously, I'm just getting a list now. I need to find contact lenses, a cookbook, and a mop. <laughs> 
This guy looks like he's had one too many coffees. Yes, but we'll have a chat with Spoonie anyway. How are you? Wow, huh. I never thought about that before. That no. might be the most intelligent thing I've ever heard. All right. <laughs> Uh, where the fuck am I? Oh my god, it's the old man stitch person that I've heard so much about. Sign for Captain Bub's Super Submarine Adventure Tour. Yay! It's supposed to be amazing. Yay! You get to view the underwater scenery, but you get a four-day stopover in the land of the dead. <laughs> I guess really to the... hope I can go there one day. You want to go to the land of the dead, really? Even though you're not really supposed to trust a dead I person. Think this clock has stopped. Maybe I should report to someone it's not working. Can I? I best not use it. <laughs> it might not be a safe place to time travel from. Okay, let's have a talk to old man Stitch. Beat it, kid. I got no time to waste talking to you. Mr. Stitch, it's me. Why is Dalrich? Oh, hi, kid. I didn't hi, kid. Out my glasses. Left the blasted things back at the house. Memory's not as good as it used to be. Uh, what brings so, you here? What brings you to the theater of dreams? I could ask you the same question, but if you must know, I'm off on vacation. Thought I'd go oh. to the land of the dead this year. I hear it's nice there this time of year. Who knows? Oh, all right. I might even be able to get an all-over body tan. <laughs> There's an image that'll take a while to get out of my head. Well, <laughs> you did ask. Yes. Unfortunately, <laughs> I did. I love this. You look a little sad today. Oh, I hope this chapter is nice and long. Kid. You see, I got a ticket for Captain Bubs' Super Submarine Adventure Tour. But that's not a short journey. I'm so hungry. I need to eat before I leave. Okay. I won't be able to get food while traveling. There's nowhere I can get food around here. Right. Wait, what about Chef Landland? Why don't you get food there? Well, let's just say Chef Landland and I are not exactly seeing eye to eye at the moment. Ah. Last year, I put an article in the paper saying it was the worst food I had ever tasted. Ever since, things have been heated between us two. Interesting. I really thought would have gotten over it by now, but I guess a Tuscan never forgets. So now I'm stuck with plenty of money and no way to get food before I travel. Okay. Well, so I still think I got some mud cakes on me if you want one. Mud cake? I don't want no mud cake. Do I look like a toilet to you? <laughs> Gee, sorry. I was just trying to help. No, what I want is something nice and spicy. Like a nice spicy. hot spicy steak curry. Well, steak curry. I see some okay. laying around. I'll be sure to bring it to you. Tell me, kid. You come over here for a reason or just to annoy me? Mr. Stitch, <laughs> have you spoken to Sneer lately? I have not seen her in days. Who? My niece? Yeah. No, I haven't spoken to her. Kid, when you get to my age, youngsters don't have time for you. Right. That's sad. Why do you think Aww. that is? I don't know, kid. You're young. You tell me. Well, perhaps it's because old people are mean. Ah! <laughs> it's because they smell funny. <laughs> well, I'd say it's because they don't have respect for anyone anymore. <laughs> hmm. My money's on smell. <laughs> maybe it's time I left. Yeah, maybe it is. Right, so I have a steak meat, so... What I have to do is somehow turn it into a curry? Question mark? Probably. I didn't see anything else there. I'm not talking to the ticket lady. I need to go and look everywhere else, apparently. <laughs> so I'm getting a massive list of things I need to do. I might go to the library again to see if I can find um, that cookbook. It probably is in the library. And someone found it and they just went, oh, all right. Can I go through this door with the panel next to it? The door handle won't turn. I think yep. it's locked. I need to figure out this panel. This panel looks like it controls the door lock. So... I'm not going to bother pressing it, so I'm going to try and figure out some other things. So, yes, let's go to the study before I go to the future of dreams. Hello. 
This book is titled The Roof Has a Hole by Lee King. Okay. Oh. Thank you all for the hairbrush. Okay, right. Why do I have a hairbrush? <laughs> Green books, orange books, assorted books. Let's have a look at the orange books, shall we? This book is titled Things to Cook Meat in by Stu Potts. By Stu Potts, okay. All right, well, can I take some of this these? This book is titled The Excitement of Trees by I Am Bored. By I Am Bored. <laughs> All these books are about the same subject food. Right, so do you have the. This plant book? looks a little dry. It could do with being watered. Huh. Ah! So I take that. You safe? One, two, three, four. Ten. Five, six, seven, eight. Huh. No, well, I'll come back later. Looks like she's asleep. Hmm. I, I wish don't... I was. Yeah, I wish I was as well. Because, <laughs> uh, actually, my neighbors sort of uh, kept me up all night because they're arseholes and they're mirror, lying. Mirror, mirror well. on the wall. Who was the fairest one of all? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I guess it's not that kind of mirror. Yeah, I don't think it's magic, mate. Oh, 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 there's a light switch. I don't notice the light switch. Can I use the light switch? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I don't know yet. I uh, can't come on load already. Ugh, <laughs> uh, what do I want to have for breakfast? I'm really starving. Let's turn it on or off then. Why would I turn that off? Hmm. Okay, well I don't see I don't see a reason as to why the light switch could be turning off, so maybe there will be a reason later on. Let's get out of here and go into the main theatre then. I don't really see the bathroom either, or the cookbook, or a mop. Are they all in the theatre of dreams? Are this gonna be someone in, in someone else's dream? I'm just gonna pick up a curry. Alright then, into the theater. Ah, that must be There's him. my father. I notice his red hair anywhere. <laughs> this conversation can go one of two ways. Bad, bad or, or very, very bad. bad. Yes. Oh, no. And he looks busy. That's not uh, going to help my cause. Uh, well, best get this over with, I guess. Hi, Dad. Where in Grendel's name have you been? We've got people looking for you everywhere. And where's Athonic? Please say she's safe. Her mother has been worried <laughs> sick. Not to mention yours. Oh, yeah, uh, she's fine. I think she's still outside somewhere. <laughs> Listen, there's something I need to tell you. It's about the school. Yes, yes, we know the Grandel set fire to the school. We have been monitoring Principal Grandel for quite some time now. There was an incident a few months ago, and he was our biggest suspect. Naturally, we didn't want to raise suspicion, so we covertly set up surveillance in his office, home, and holiday villa. It was no easy task, but we right. managed it. If our intelligence is correct, he has been developing a super weapon that could destroy the human world. What? He's a very dangerous man. Maybe it's best to let you hear it for yourself. Come. Uh, okay. I wonder what his mum looks like. After all this time, my plan is nearly at its end. Just one more item, and this world will be mine. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> so, boss, what you want to do about the kids? They're still out for somewhere. And the dumb one has the device. Is he talking about me? What? Yes, I believe he is. <laughs> what do you think? I want that device. Any means possible. I really don't like that guy. Okay. Like I said, the Grandel is a very evil man. But once we retrieve the footage of him starting the fire, we will have all the evidence we need to put him away for a very long time. 
That's if we can find him. Since the fire, no one has seen him. Yes, that is true. And is most unfortunate. But right. I have no doubt that we will locate him. I'm sure of it. He could be anywhere right now. If only the Oracle was still here with her powers. <laughs> put an end to this madness in an instant. No, Again, interesting. Very true. But the Oracle has not been seen for many years. Who knows where she might be? Or if she's even alive. No, we must come up okay. with a plan to take down the Grandel ourselves. But for you, young man, you were to take a Vonic home this instant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh... Now, if you need anything else, speak with Professor Carbuncle. He'll help you with anything else you may need. <laughs> Poor Blythe. <laughs> that sure is one big projector screen. Hmm, yes. I was thinking that would look great on my bedroom wall. <laughs> Strange contraption. Ooh. Ah. Oh! Ah, like that. No. No. There are a lot of combinations. <laughs> uh, do I need to follow that diagram or something? Hmm, interesting. Right, so... That's not gonna work, is it? I oh, must well. admit. I don't understand one thing written on that board. It must mm -hmm. be really complex stuff. Yeah, probably. This is Professor Carbuncle, my father's assistant. Although so, I've never wait, seen him before, uh, my father talks about him so much that Landu I Landu like looks a lot younger him. than the assistant. Balls, poster, right. I do not see the cookbook anywhere. I don't see a mop or anything, but apparently I need to talk to Carbuncle. Hey, Carbuncle? Have you got a minute? Hello, Master Dalrich. Is there something that you need? <laughs> He's very polite. I found a device. I was know anything? Wondering, do you know anything about this device? It's really special. It can travel the user through time. Okay. Is this some kind of joke? No. I can never tell with you kids. With all your new wave pop music and designer products, it's, <laughs> it's strange to me. It's not a joke, Professor Carbuncle. It really does. Oh, preposterous. That's impossible. No. Nothing like that could exist. And even if it did, the only person who may know something would be the Oracle. Right, so... so... Has not been seen for many, many years. So what, I, my quest is find the Oracle. Doesn't anyone know where the Oracle is now? I really want to speak to her about this device. No, I'm afraid not. I don't think there's a living soul who would know her location. However, there was a rumor going around ooh, ooh. that she was living in the land of the dead. Uh, ah. Uh, as important as the Oracle living there? Mm. No, it's foolish talk from foolish people. So that's my quest. Go to the land of the dead! Thanks, yes. Professor Goodbye, Master Dalrich. Please do take care. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Okay, right. That's good. That's good. We know something now. I don't know what the strange contraption's for, but we'll probably find that in a book somewhere. So, <laughs> with that, I think I can end the episode. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to conclude right there. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see everyone in the next one. Goodbye.